Hey guys, it's Sandy, and today I'm going to be showing you all the books that I've defaced over the past year. Now, I got this kind of book defacing idea from Jenna Claire and Pink Lemonade Reads a couple months ago. And Jenna Claire, if you don't know her, she does a lot of really pretty videos, like her editing and her lighting and her quality is really cool. Unlike mine, because I have terrible lighting today. <laughs> And she does deface some of her books with watercolors and just quotes all over and song lyrics. But Pink Lemonade Reads is a former artist. So she has like photorealistic depictions of characters in the books, which I think is really cool. And I actually tried to do that on one of the books I have to show I have for you here. And by the way, this video is probably going to be unedited or very minimally edited because I'm lazy. <laughs> that's, why I ha that's why you haven't seen a video in the past two weeks. So, anyways, so let's get on with it. My first book here is Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare. And speaking of a photorealistic depiction of a character, this is not photorealistic. This I did with acrylic paints and looks of Thai. It looks very bad for my standards because I've been practicing portraits for a while, so it's this. I don't think it's that good, but you might. So if you do, please tell me. It would make me feel much better. <laughs> and on the back, I have the Summon Family Rune, which is on the inside cover of Lord of Shadows which has a bunch of runes on it. So I really like this one because of the strong family element in this series, as if you read it, you know. But anyways, next book. I have The Bronze Key by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. And I just like the key on this one. So I just did it in the back. I just did it on the back. See? Minimal. <laughs> These are out of order, by the way. <laughs> Just saying. So the next book I have is City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I really love Cassandra Clare. <laughs> and I actually really like this defacing, too. I did an outline of New York City. And I just did a bunch of different colored lines. I was using metallic gel pens. Because they can write on black and book covers and stuff. Just the kind that you get for school. And then, so the next book I have is not my best basic, uh, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, and it says no mourners, and I also filled in the little bird here, no funerals. And if you've read Six of Crows, you'd know that this is one of the common things that the dregs say instead of good luck or see you later, goodbye, because they just don't. <laughs> The next book I only did the pages of, like the sides of the pages. There's nothing actually <laughs> on it, except that I painted them a light gray, like silver inspiration from the crown on the front. <laughs> next, one of the most basic ones here. <laughs> I think it is the most basic one. But next book I have is City of Lost Angels by Cassandra Clare. And this one is not as good as City of... Did I say City of Lost Angels? Because I meant City of Lost Souls. Um, this one's not as good as City of Fallen Angels. It's the Paris outline. And I couldn't really remember if they spent a lot of time in Paris. <laughs> but I think they went there, but I'm not sure. But if they didn't, that's unfortunate. <laughs> so, anyways... Next book I have is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, and this one's a bit more, you know, than King's Cage. So I did red splatters on the front of it, and I also did the back of it, the light gray, that's the same as the pages, and I painted the pages red. Now, a word of warning, if you're going to paint the edges of your books, you have to go and separate every single page afterwards and it takes a while <laughs> so just saying oops already did that book okay next book is also just the edges and it's 
Golden Sun by Pierce Brown. And I just painted the edges yellow. Haven't gotten around to doing that for Morningstar, but I did do it for Red Rising. See, it's red. Sorry if you can hear, like, Ed Sheeran music in the background. My sister just walked by. <laughs> but uh, I did do the cast symbols in the back, or not in the background, but <laughs> on the cover. So there's gold, and there's like all the in-betweens, and then there's red on the bottom. And I just did these with metallic sharpies. Next book I did pretty recently. Oh yeah, like yesterday. Oh, I didn't finish the back. <laughs> nice one. But I have A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J. Mass. And so I did my best rendering of Resan's eyes with metallic pins again. And so you can see those. They don't stand out that much. But then I do like this design. I saw it on Google somewhere. <laughs> and then I did the spine with light blue, dark blue, silver, and black. I lied. I didn't use black. <laughs> Next book is the one I'm currently working on, which is Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J. Mass. And I'm just doing a quote on it, and it says, What we think to be our greatest weakness can sometimes be our biggest strength. And I really like this quote, and I'm doing it in green. And I'm going to do biggest strength in a light green so it pops out more. Just using my artist brain. <laughs> and... The next book is one that I haven't actually read yet. I just, <laughs> I'm going to an Adam Silvera signing in September, which I'm so excited about. Comment down below if you're going to the one in New York. <laughs> Not New York. Why did I say New York? I'm Los Angeles. <laughs> but I wrote, it's a quote, by the way, love the hugest liar in this universe that is what it says <laughs> I had to double check and it just looks like it's all like the same color but this is actually green and this is blue with white dots and this is purple and black so this is the first book I've ever defaced not his not history is all you left me but <laughs> everything everything by Nicola Yoon I really like this one I painted the edges purple and I'm very proud of this it's a bit cluttered but you know whatever <laughs> it says everything's a risk not doing anything's a risk and I took a lot of time on this one there's a bunch of like pastel -y green swirls all over I colored in where it's indented everything everything I drew a flower you know so much work. <laughs> the second to last book is... Uh, I lied. This is the second to last book because I don't like this one at all. <laughs> I just want in colored pencils, which is a bad idea. And it just doesn't look good. <laughs> I, so I drew on Winter by Marissa Meyer. I drew an Apple because Snow White, Apple, you get it. And so... It's a really bad highlight, a really bad shadow, just a really bad apple in general. So, we're going to put that one right there. <laughs> we're going to exile that one. <laughs> and so the last book I have, I am actually really proud of. Even though I did base it off <laughs> of uh, an image on Google. <laughs> but, I have an acrylic painting of... Oh my god, <laughs> of a rose. It kind of looks like the Beauty and the Beast rose, which is fitting because that's what the series or this book is based on. And so I use so much paint on this. Like, if you feel it, there's so many layers. And so the petals are falling off as if it's dying. And on the back, I have a bow and an arrow. And I did use uh, Jelly Roll pens on this one too, just to outline things. But that's all I have today for you. 
I'm sorry I haven't posted recently. I'll try to post as much as I can this week and going on. But school started. High school. Yay. Uh, <laughs> way too much homework. Although my math teacher is better, I think, <laughs> than 8th grade. So that's good. So I'll see you next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And... Bye! <laughs>